Hello, this is Leonie of Gardens of Blessings TV and in this video, I am going to share with you what is play therapy and what parents should know. Ano po ba ang dapat nating malaman about play therapy and as parents or guardians, ano po ang ating mga role upang magampanan natin ito ng mabuti? Anyway, if you think that this video is helpful, please click like, hit subscribe, and choose all to receive updates. Gardens of Blessings TV is a channel on childhood anxiety awareness, social and emotional learning, and of course, self-publishing journey. So if you are interested, please subscribe and please watch until the end because I will be sharing with you the roles of parents with play therapy. So ano nga ba ang play therapy? Ang play therapy po ay commonly used for children who are experiencing developmental issues, especially for the social and emotional aspects ng mga bata. Ang play therapy ay kadalasang ginagamit ng mga therapist to observe and gain insights into a child's problem by looking into emotions and handle and resolve trauma. Children can learn new coping mechanisms through play and based on my experience as a mom to a child with anxiety ang play po ay bridge to connect the child into the real environment making the child realize what is the difference on what is inside the mind and what really is happening around Children learn to understand the world and their place in it through play. It's where they are free to act out their inner feelings and deepest emotions. Kaya tayong mga magulang, kung may mga dapat tayong gustong malaman sa ating mga anak in their school, studies, at mga emosyonal lang pangangailangan, daani natin sa play and toys. Ang mga laruan po can act as symbols and take on greater meaning. Kung gusto ninyong malaman kung papaano gagawin sa bahay, refer to your child's therapist. Dahil sila ang higit na nakakaalam kung ano ang dapat ninyong gawin sa inyong sitwasyon dahil each child is different. So, I will share with you kung ano po ba ang roles ng parents or family natin with regards to play therapy. Number one, parents and guardians are observers. Tayong mga magulang or guardians ay mga observers on the responses at behaviors ng ating mga anak. Dahil ito po ay mahalaga na information na dapat nating ibigay sa therapist. Ang mga behaviors and responses in between session po ay nagsisilbing gabay ng mga therapist on what other challenges that needs to be addressed and how to manage these issues at home. And number two, advocate. As I have been saying from my previous videos, we parents and guardians out there are advocates to our children or for our children. So through consultation, we might be asked to introduce ideas that we think are beneficial and that therapists will better understand our needs as a family. Number three, participate as a play partner. We should also remember that Therapy is a two-way process, so parents or guardians should participate as a play partner if being asked to join to sessions for specific reasons or to follow a playtime activity at home. Dahil dito ay lubusan nating maiintindihan ang pangangailangan ng ating mga anak at makakatulong din ito to minimize our stress as parents or guardians at home. If you find this video helpful, please share, like, and subscribe. 
subscribe I will have more practical tips to share with you according to my experience and practices which are also recommended by child therapists see you in my next video thank you for sharing your time with me and play